Let's go, man. The grind is continuing going on, man. As you see right here, we are officially done with the playoffs field pass. And if y'all didn't see it or watch the video, we did choose Creed Humphrey to be our free 94 overall car. But as you see, he is boosted to a 95 overall, 96 strength, 93 awareness, 95 pass block, 95 pass block power, 95 pass block finesse, 95 run block, 95 run block power. Uh, and we got 94 run block finesse. This man is going to be sick for us. Uh, great to have him on the team. As you see, we did have Alex Mack in backup, but went ahead and sold Alex Mack. Or I think we quick set up for some training so we can get some 86 pluses from the training reroll for the Super Bowl promo. And as you see, we just put Kevin Wyatt the backup so we can also continue to have the Falcons skin. So that is our offense. We still got sweet feet for right now, but I told y'all when we get enough coins, we will get this man Andrew Whitworth and we're going to go crazy with the X Factor um, that he can have like all the offensive line abilities all at once. It's going to be freaking crazy, man. So anyway, as you see right here, we still got Ray Lewis with us. We chose Chuck, uh, Chuck Hatley to start upgrading first. I don't know if we can have enough for both uh, for Chuck Howley and Hans Ward, but for right now, we have Chuck Howley with us and let's see what's going on right now. He has 90 speed and acceleration. 93 acceleration, 85 strength, 86 tackle, 86 play rate, 86 bike share, 91 hit power, 89 zone, which is not bad. So, if you already know, even though the man was doing great on our team, that means Jack Campbell is no longer on our team. He is great, man. He was a great, you know, player for us. He did everything he needed to do. He got a lot of YouTube shorts out there uh, with this man. So, shout out to um, Jack Campbell. So, anyway, ABC right here, we got Josh Norman. This is who we chose from the Super Bowl promo. For right now, Josh Norman, this man is about to be sick for us. I've always been a fan of Josh Norman. I told y'all, man. Y'all y'all go back and watch the video. Josh Norman, I've always been a fan of this man. And as you see, he is the guy that has replaced Night Train Lane. So, as you see right here, where is Night Train? So I can show y'all. Comparing him to Night Train Lane, this is what we've been having for the longest. So he has better speed, better acceleration, better agility. The 94 jumping is what I really like about this guy. I told y'all that. Him being in the slot, him having better zone. This man would jump up out the freaking stadium and pick balls off. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do. You may not see anything going crazy in this gameplay, but yeah, that's Josh Norman. And by the way, I told y'all this is the first official online gameplay for Justin Tuck, but we'll see how this goes. By the way, I'm just going to tell y'all, the guy we was playing against had improved blocking for the whole game. So y'all may not see Justin Tuck, y'all may see Justin Tuck, you never know. But uh, I just see right here, Chris Jones, yeah. And by the way, I was asked in the comment section, why do I not use Colossus and is dominant pass rush? I didn't even know about this X factor, by the way, dominant pass rush, even versus double teams, because I believe Chris Jones doesn't make enough plays to get into the zone to even get this X factor. But I believe Christian Harris usually does. So maybe we'll see how that goes. Maybe, um, you know, Christian, Chris Jones gets another upgrade. We'll put it on him and then just have Chris Harris running around with flat zone KO and like artists. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, Let's go ahead and get into gameplay, man. Let's freaking go. All right, on to the gameplay. That is our team. Kendall Rattler, Riley, Christian Harris, Michael Vick going up against Richard Sherman, the Forrest Buckner, and Joe Montana. Then that man got Sherman boosted to a 94, and he has Hot Rock Master on Joe Montana. So that's his, this is us right here receiving the kickoff, and it is CP4 it's giving us a big game to the 41-yard line. Obviously, I have the Falcon uniforms. He has the 49er, 49ers uniforms. Um, and it looks like he has a 49ers theme team, by the way. So, as you see right here, you got pick artists, arc artists, and share your threat going crazy. As right here, we're doing a play action with Michael Vick. And look at that nice freaking pass right there. Nice catch to Tony Gonzalez. But on the next play, look at the freaking lineman. Four people right there with nobody to block, but a dude comes straight in. And he didn't even have to use her pick that. The, the CPU just came in and picked the ball off ridiculous play recognition by him i never seen that ever we tried to do a right receiver screen to, uh well a running back screen to cp and it did not work for us so i was like wow we've been you know we was playing the solos he was like okay cool i think it's gonna be a good play to run online as you see we got destroyed so anyway third and seven as he tried to run the cmc the game is lagging but chris jones makes the play so okay chris jones that's what i like to see man if chris jones keep doing that we may try that colossus x factor for real so anyway He's doing that little kick to the side, so you can't kick to the kick returner. So it's Odell Beckham Jr. right there. So 
is zero to three right now. Hopefully we can get some stuff going as CP right there is juking everybody. CP is going crazy already for us in this game, you know, on kickoff, you know, making some nice catch out of the backfield, running the ball, juking. And like I said, as y'all saw this man got lurk artist on this whole freaking team going crazy. And that CP once again is breaking tackles, man. Let's go second and seven. We hand off once again because like the run game is working. The offensive line is playing good. And yes, we get the first down right there. Three rushes, 21 yards for CP. CP, oh, trying to get up in there. Let's go, man. man fighting. That's what I like to see, man. That's, I'm telling y'all, man, the Falcons, we should have utilized this man a lot more. I know he was hurt in the beginning of the season, but we should have been going crazy with Cordell Patterson, man. The angry runs. This is still the angry runs part. He has 95 speed and I believe 95 acceleration on this car right now. That's how we got him boosted. As right there, we still trying to, you know, just pound it right there. Play action, you know what I'm saying? After the running, running. And look at this bull crap right here. Look, we're using it. We're trying to go to the spot and they move me away. Huh? With perfect accuracy, by the way. But thankfully, on the next play, we throw a dot to Odell Beckham Jr., man. Odell Beckham Jr. is like a very underrated car in this game. Especially with slide matic this dude can go against the best. There's only one car I've seen just completely lock him up, but I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want people going out there running up, <laughs> running around with him. But anyway, as finally, we take the lead 7-3, to three, man. The first quarter is almost done with, but he's going to have another play, and he's throwing it out of bounds for Brandon Ayuk. Uh, thankfully, he did not get that completion. But anyway, Joe Montana is going to the other side. I thought he was right there to catch that pass, but... That was a ridiculous pass to George Kittle. And there's eight seconds to go in the first. You know, right here. The dude, George Kittle, just celebrating, going crazy. So it is the second quarter now. So he's moving somebody in motion on my old shoot. So it is a run play. He runs straight into the middle of the field with CMC. And it's four rushes, 11 yards for him. Second inches. He's doing an RPO to Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice, I think I get him at like two more levels. As right here. Thank Ray Lewis right there gets a tackle, man. Anyway, Joe Montana. He's looking to pass. What he's going to do? And he's sacked by John Kaminsky. Thankfully, let's go, man. John Kaminsky is showing up like he was showing up in the solos. And it's about time this dude is doing this. Nice sack right there. Good stuff. I've been waiting for John Kaminsky to go crazy. And that's exactly what he did right there. Big sack for a second and 17. Joe Montana, he's looking to pass. What is he going to do? Oh, George Kittle. Just a, a crazy pass. I don't know why my defense was just looking like, yo, where's the ball at? That's right there. He's doing that vertical cheese, and it is a touchdown, man. Nobody can get over there. I was like, oh, come on, man. It's 7 to 10. We're looking to pass. And I, for some reason, even though I told y'all just make that lurk artist on the whole team, I didn't even see that he had it. That's why I threw it. I was like, okay, cool. That's just a linebacker. He's not going to be able to jump up. But then right as the ball arrived, I saw the star, and I was like, no. So as you see right here, he's throwing the dots. Or Brandon, are you first and 10 for him? Five for six, 100 yards for this man, Joe Montana. He's looking to pass. He's growing to the right side of the field. Ugh. But it's out of bounds, man. Good freaking pressure by us. It's about time. Good stuff. As right here, the Real Reeves, we sent him on the blitz. Crazy angles he got right there. Good stuff. Third and 16. And he is throwing the ball to George Kittle. Fourth and nine. So he has to settle for a field goal, but he is still up. Now it is seven to 13. And this dude has the messenger as his team name. As right here, Odell Beckham Jr., I thought we was about to go for the touchdown, but Barry Sanders didn't care nothing about my blockers. And right here, he didn't care nothing about my blockers again with the Forrest Buckner. Second and 13, Michael Vick. Everybody is covered, so we had to throw the ball away. I thought they was about to make me throw a pick. I'm like, I know I threw the ball away. Third and 13. We got to be great. So right here, Odell Beckham Jr. with a nice catch, man. With perfect accuracy. He was able to click on. He was able to catch. That's what I like to see. First and 10, Michael Vick. He's looking to pass. He's throwing down the field. Yo, y'all go back and watch that. That is crazy how Drake, uh, Drake Greenlaw was able to come back. And Tony Gonzalez punched him in the mouth like, man, you ain't even that good. That's what he told him. But Drake, Drake, Drake Greenlaw is really good in real life. But Tony G should have just completely dusted him right there. But good stuff by him. As right here, Tony G, look at that nice pass on third and two. Nice catch. That was literally a rat catch, by the way. It was a high pass rat catch. Because I knew if I would have just possession it or if I would have just went up and called it, that would have probably knocked me out. So, good stuff right there as he tries to hit stick me with Ronnie Lott. But we get the first down with CP. 40 seconds to go in the second quarter. We're looking to pass. And look who it is. Old Dale Beckham Jr. with his second touchdown in the game. And let's freaking go, man. That's what I'm talking about. I love watching back this. Man, look. That's what I'm talking about, man. Old Dale Beckham Jr. I'm telling y'all, this man is so good. 
Like, it gets me hyped up just going back and watch this. I can't wait to go back and play another game and stuff like that and go crazy. But 14 or 13, the game is still close. As right here, the DEA comes alive. No lag, no nothing. It just didn't register. It goes all the way. So I'm like, okay, cool. 30 seconds to go. 36 seconds to go on the clock. This dude got good field position. Let's see what kind of foolishness they're going to make happen. And look, right on cue. By the yeah, I had to pause the game after that. By the way, Jesse Bates has uh, deep in KO, and I was in position to catch the ball, and they didn't even act like the dude was there at all. So right here, as you see, network issues. I don't know what the heck going on. They're trying to act like we got connection issues. Completely bull crap. It's funny how stuff happens all the time at crucial parts of the game. You know, people are like, oh, yo, it's a connection. No, why does it always happen at the crucial moments of the game? But everything else is just fine. As right here, this man almost gets a kit return with CMC. But thankfully, Richie Grant was able to stop this man. As right here, CMC gets scooped up by Lee McNeil, who has been going absolutely crazy for us. Of course, he goes back to our RPO because that's his only offense as he goes to IU. Third and two. He's motioning the guys. Look at that nice user tackle by me to bring up fourth and two. He is going for the field goal. Yeah, and he gets it, man. Dang. He gets the field goal 14 to 19 in his third quarter. He finally kicks it to Cordell Patterson. And right there, he completely knocks him out. I believe he has Josh Norman as well. Right here, we do the play action. We see Odell Beckham Jr. once again wide open in the middle of the field. They cannot hold this man. 9, 14, 155 yards. 4. Michael Vick as we are throwing it to CMC. We're taking what we can get, man, because I see how this dude is playing defense. So if somebody's open, we got to throw it. If not, they will end up, you know, coming over there and covering the guy or we'll get blocked later and get sacked. So we're doing what we got to do. And right there, we try to throw it to Julio Jones, who is actually getting the starting spot once again. You know, Alshon Jeffrey has been out there for a long time. But I was like, you know what, let's bring back Julio. That's right there. We throw a nice pass, a nice clutch pass to uh, CP. Great freaking catch for us, man. Fourth and five, that was huge. So anyway, we try to audible because we want to go ahead and moss this guy. But I'm like, okay, cool. They go that bull crap. Right when I audible, that's when they start lagging. So I'm like, you know what? Let me test the lag. I like to um, fake hype to test the lag to see the responsiveness. And of course, right when we try that, we get a penalty for false start. So now it was for the first and 15. So we got to make up all these yards. Michael Vick is looking to pass. Ugh. We try to throw it. Throw it in there to Odell Beckham. Perfect pass, but a deflected pass. Michael Vick on a nice play. We're trying to do something. And look at that nice pass. Look at that nice pass. That nice catch by Larry Fitzgerald, the best receiver in the game. And on first and goal on the one-yard line, we get it up in there with Michael Vick. And Chris Hinton is right there to help him up. And right there, we're going for two. And we get it with CP, 22 to 19 for us. Let's go with a nice comeback by us. And it is second and six. For him right now, Joe Montana, he's looking to pass. I tried to get up there with Howley, but it did not work. We do have Howley out there in his own instead of having Tavius Robinson out there. And I told you Jack Campbell is no longer on the team. Um, but he was a great card. He still probably is a great card. But we are utilizing Ray Lewis with the free lurker for right now. Tristan Harris with the free lurker. And Howley, as he gets upgraded, I'm pretty sure he'll get lurk artists for free as well. And right there, he throws a dot to Jerry Rice. He's 22 to 19, man. He's doing a crazy play. Look at this right here. Why is Justin Tuck just looking at the fan? <laughs> Yo, I understand. I told y'all, look, he has improved blocking the whole game, but the dude wasn't even blocked. But he just stood there and looked at him. That's right there. We try to go for it. And look, you see? Crucial part of the game. We was about to tackle this man behind the line, but he gets a first down. I'm telling you, the crazy lag spikes is ridiculous. And y'all going to see a, probably a lot more of that in this game. So anyway, first and 10 for this man. He is in the red zone, and he is handing off the CMC as Chris Jones makes a nice tackle. Second and five. Too many yards, though, but a nice tackle. And dang, there we go, Justin Tuck. That's what I like to see. That's what you should have did on the last play. That's what I'm talking about, man. Third and four for this guy. Good stuff by Justin Tuck. Justin Tuck is trying to come into his own, but that improved blocking is crazy. I'm telling y'all, as right here, he does the vertical cheese once again. Nobody's able to get over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck is Troy Palomalo doing? Uh, I guess it's like some invisible force field. I just met Randy Moss is just staring there looking at the crowd. I guess he can't believe that he was able to make that catch as well. But he went ahead and did that. And he still looked like he don't know what the heck he's doing. He's like, <laughs> all I got to say after this play 
the reason why they choose to play fast enough because I was just like very upset that we told everybody to watch the outside. You know what I'm saying? We was moving guys over, but he was still able to make that play. Now he has improved blocking and improved coverage. So yeah, so right there, I'm like, yo, come on, that should have been a catch. So we have to be clutch once again with Michael Vick, second and 10. We're running the ball, dude completely dominates me with Chris Jones. His Chris Jones don't even have no abilities. Third and 10 for us, that's right there. CP gets open, man. Come on, we gotta be great. Two minutes to go on the clock as we head off to CP once again, man. Improve coverage, improve, improve blocking for this guy. DDA, all the foolishness, the connection are all against us. We have to be great. Third and inches. We're looking to pass on Michael Vick, and CP is wide open once again, man. We're using CP like, you know, CMC is being used with the 49ers pretty much because we got to take what we got to get against this guy's defense. Second and 10, look at this. Since you saw that lag spike, we've been trying to throw the ball, but it's not going to register because when a lag spike like that happens, no matter what you do after the play is called, we cannot do anything. So third and 24, I'm like, okay, here we go with this bull crap. You see that was a crucial part of the game. And now we're a pushback third and 24 with a nice catch by 20 years island. But it's fourth and six with 55 seconds to go on the clock. Now 47 after acceleration. So it's fourth and six. We have to be great. My bad, you guys, my freaking voice is changing right now because early in the morning we try to grind these videos. But we have to freaking win this game. We got to put this content out. And as you see right here, let's go. You see the audibles we're doing. We see the hot routes we're doing. That's Michael Vick. Look at this beautiful pass to Tony Gonzalez. And this is a touchdown, man. Let's freaking go. Michael Vick is coming up clutch once again, man. Every single time he delivers. But the defense has to deliver. It is 29 to 26. So with all this bull crap, the connection, all this DDA crap, all this vertical crap, all this RPO crap. And right here, look at But he's wide open and it's a touchdown. But it's a flag on the play. What is it? Illegal four pass. So a second and 14 for him. As right here, the next play, 10 seconds to go on the clock. And look who it is, Jerry Rice. No, it's not. It's Troy Palomalo. Troy Palomalo picks the ball off. And let's freaking go. The game is freaking over with 29 to 26. And yeah, this dude has seen enough. 296 yards, three touchdowns for Michael Vick. Let's freaking go, man. Let's go. I am so glad. Even after all that lag, after all that latency bull crap, the, uh, the crucial parts of the game. We were still able to pull out the handicap match. Uh, if y'all don't get that reference, it's a wrestling reference. So I'm not trying to, you know, say nothing bad. But as you see right here after that game, we was able to get a Ray Lewis upgrade token. Let's freaking go, man. Y'all like, subscribe. Michael Vick does, does it again. Please the Falcons fans Arriving in backpacks On his brother's back Now he's in the spot With my dogs D block Friday afternoon Banging with D block Hanging with D block Up in the spot With my dog D block Hey, D block, that's it. D block, 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 D block